This is the um, new release for 2012 from Weeks Rose uh, Floribunda called Ketchup and Mustard. I have to say that I am genuinely stunned at how well this rose is done. I had it here at the house where the temperatures were in excess of 100 degrees for at least four weeks, better part of 30 days, dropped to the high 90s, went right back to the hundreds, and um, it has flushed continuously. I have pruned it back a few times to increase the density of the plant, but it has never lacked for effort in that high heat to a bloom. It has got a very unique blossom to it. It comes out as a cute little tea-like blossom with a very yellow back and then opens up to a, a nice red. Over two, three days fades to kind of a hot pink red and develop, opens up with this really nice yellow bee in it. And the plant is covered in blooms. It's not as covered this moment because again I did shear it back but there's a lot of little buds popping out here. So I am very impressed. A lot of new roses are overhyped. Try and get people to get in there and start buying them up. But if you're looking for a very strong bloomer in the heat, look at this. We've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven buds in uh, eight buds in development and two blooms that have already opened up and that's pretty typical for the whole plant this uh, started out as a kind of beaten down ketchup and mustard that I found at the nursery uh, in late June and so I brought it home put it in a number 15 pot and have been um, observing it in the heat and it is like I said performed great this is definitely a very good rose for you, uh, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma um, gardeners. Not sure how well it does in high heat and high humidity, but in high heat and dry conditions, well, this thing's a champion and a half. So that's ketchup and mustard from Weeks Roses. Uh, bare root, and we also sell them potted when available.